Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Puppets looking at yet another beer that was sent to me from Jens in Germany. And this is one I kind of felt like right now. I kind of feel like a nice refreshing brew and it's a Pilsner. So a classic German Pilsner. This is the Rothaus Tannenzäpfle, uh, which I have no idea what that means. A really cool label on this one. I really like that. Uh, but yeah, I was kind of in the mood for a really refreshing lager, which is kind of interesting. And it's not brewed according to the German Reinheitsgebot, interestingly enough. It says, okay, it says it is, but it's made with hop extract. So I don't know if that counts. Apparently it doesn't when they put the Reinheitsgebot on the label. But uh, yeah, it says it's a crystal clear, made with crystal clear, clear brewing water from uh, seven... Well, in, I, I think that's a region or maybe a well or something. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Uh, quality, quality malt uh, from the region and aroma hops and the ones uh, uh, used are Tetanang and Halatau to make it a very tasty beer. So yeah, uh, looking forward to be having like a really nice refreshing session of brew. I like how it has like the tin foil or the foil top there. Oh, and it even has like a colored cap underneath. But um, apparently this should be a really nice, uh, refreshing German-style Pilsner. Oh, that's pale. That is really pale. Oopsie. I'm gonna have this with some lasagna, actually. <laughs> so I think that's gonna pair well. Like this and pizza also pairs really well, really well like lagers and pizza. But um, nice, fizzy, kind of yellow color. It looks like a Pilsner. Um, not too yellow. It's on the lighter side. A little bit of a two-finger almost white head. Let's check out the aroma. Definitely uh, those Halatau and kind of noble hop aromas. I'm not sure if they're noble hop actually. I think they are. But definitely super grassy, super uh, almost lightly lemony but super grassy. Like lots of grassy hoppy notes. Subtle, sweeter, bready kind of feel almost, sweeter malt. Definitely a lot of Pilsner malt on the aroma. I mean, it smells like a really nice Pilsner. No skunk in there whatsoever. Just what, it smells, smells like a textbook German style Pilsner. Not as hoppy as the Bitburger, but it smells pretty nice. So yeah, let's give it a taste. Cheers, guys. Yeah, that certainly is refreshing. That is really refreshing. You can drink a lot of this. Flavor, again, traditional German Pilsner. Not much to say. I mean, style-wise, is dead on. Um, I think I forgot to mention the alcohol content. It's 5.1, so a little more alcohol than your usual Pilsner. But flavor's in there. Again, the sweet kind of uh, malty notes. A little bit of breadiness, crisp feel to it as well. Body is medium light, or medium light. It is a light body, uh, and it's kind of crisp and dry. Um, flavors, other than the, like the sweeter malts and the Pilsner malt flavor, is definitely the hops in there. You definitely get those kind of German hops, the, the grassy notes, lightly citrusy or lemony almost. Yeah, and subtle bitterness, but super grassy. Uh, like, I'm digging at the moment, like, the really grassy lagers um, and it's nice once I still prefer ales but it's nice once in a while to have like a really well brewed lager so this is really good definitely worth checking out if you can get it uh, rating wise for the old house uh, tannin separate pills or old house pills I want to go 75 on it it's a really tasty German style pilsner how a pilsner should be like but because it's a pilsner I'm not going to go higher because it's not as complex as ales of course but uh, yeah, guys, definitely let me know what you think of the Rothaus House Tannenzäpfle Pils if you've had it. Thanks a lot to Jens for sending this one out. And uh, yeah, guys, as always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And I'm going to say cheers. I'm going to see you guys in another beer review.